Hello everyone, tonight is a real treat for us. With me is Daniel Liebeskin, a noted extraordinary teacher and an equally noted and extraordinary architect. He has been speaking at Midland at the Associated, of, Associated Contractors and Builders Expo and it's my pleasure to welcome him to Uncommon Sense. Thank you. A pleasure. I told him earlier that I like to smile, but you see right away how <laughs> truthful I was, right? What would world be without a smile? <laughs> True. Attitude is everything. And one of the things I've noticed about um, Daniel, if I may call of you course. that, is that you were th speaking at one point about that you had to be an optimist to be an architect. Oh, by all means. You know, I, I often thought about it. You know, you can be a pessimist almost in any other profession. Maybe as a politician, as a filmmaker, as a poet, as a composer, you know, composing in minor keys. But to do anything in architecture, you have to believe in the future. It's, it's, the, it's the quintessentially uh, uh, optimist profession because you believe that by what you do, you will improve lives. You will bring joy to people. You will communicate something that is worth knowing about. Are those the kinds of people you like to associate with? Optimist? Optimist? Absolutely. Yeah. It's true. Uh, you know, there are so many naysayers and pessimists, but I do love optimists. And, you know, it, it's not a lunacy to see that the world, despite all its setbacks and problems and troubles, is a beautiful world. It is a beautiful world. I always say life is a gift. It right? is. Right. It is a gift. And it it's, is a uh, gift. Precious. Um, one of the things I also noticed about you is that in your work, you're very drawn to memory, to history, to desire, to joy even, you know, from the personal to the universal. But what makes something universal, and how do you know that it is? You know, I, that's a very interesting question, not easy to answer, but I think the fact that things are emotional, that we experience them, that they're not just abstractions in the head that you learn in school, that emotional tie is the universal tie. Because people, you know, despite their divisions, are the same, they've got a soul, they've got a heart, they've got a family, they've got, uh, it, you know, you can reach them somewhere, there is a heart. Do you think that's transcultural? Yes. I think that's why w when we travel even to foreign territories, we look at an eye. You know, I was uh, recently in, in a very far away place. I saw, you know, eyes through a burqa, and I, but they glimmered. You know, it wasn't right. just the surface. It's, 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 it's yes, it's, it's, it's the soul. It is the soul. But when you see something universal, how do you make it personal? You know, I think it's, it, it, the two are tied deeply together. There would be nothing universal if it was not deeply personal. Mm -hmm. If it's just a universal slogan or idea, then it's, it will vanish. It's, it's a nothing. But if you really deeply feel it, if you share it in, this, in, in the depths of your desire, of your, of your understanding, then I think you share it with many people. And look, that's, that's why we, we love poetry. I mean, yes. the most, you know, what could be more personal than, than, than a piece of music or something, a word said by a poet or even a building? It's personal, but it, it is therefore open. It, it, it's, it, there is, it, it's something pure. One of the things I've noticed, my husband and I commissioned um, a work of art, and it was site-specific and to our house. And one of the things I noticed um, was that the first few years, every time I was in its presence, from the very second it was there, I had this spiritual, mm -hmm. uh, almost, it took my breath away. Yeah, great work of art. I, I, I was just... Even though I knew it, I knew it was there. I had seen it lots of times, but I had that. And then over the years, that softened a little bit. And I missed it. I missed that, I don't know, connection you know in that way. But you know, it's evolution. It's, you know, I have children, three. You know, when they're first born, when a child is born, it's, the wonder never really, it's, it, of course, you, but you, they grow, it's an evolution. But the wonder is there all the time. It, it's sometimes, Difficult to sustain the, the kind of tension that, that everything really in the world has, but yes. particularly magnificent works of art or works or human beings, is something irreplaceable and precious and, and unique. 